Hill in the western mountains of North Carolina. Carolina victims of Hurricane Helene. In western North Carolina, we are seeing catastrophic flooding. Carolina is cleaning up. Again with the aftermath of Hurricane Helene, and the pictures are just stunning. The catastrophic flooding happening across much of the southeast. And portions of Florida, Georgia were hit especially hard. And right now, other areas of the southeast are almost completely underwater. And so if you guys haven't heard, in North Carolina, we had a, we had a pretty, a pretty decent size hurricane this hurricane season uh, come out and sweep our state you know our, our state and cause you know just travesty everywhere you know between flooded roads uh, flooded communities you know houses that are just like gone now so I figured I wanted to make this video just to let you guys know that the chickens are okay my family is okay um, but also uh, I just kind of wanted to report out some things that I've seen you know since then that I think has been great that I'm able to provide and I'm able to do even after the hurricane. So let's talk about it. What's up guys, it's your boy Sawan Belcher. This is me taking action right here on Instagram and YouTube. Uh, typically we're talking about real estate and how to replace your nine to five income using real estate profits. Um, so today I actually wanted to talk about a little bit of how we got through this uh, this hurricane. It was For us, it wasn't really that bad here in Greensboro. We did get some high winds and we did get a lot of rain. And in some areas we did get some hail and we did get some trees down. But all in all, compared to you know places um, like Mount Airy uh, and up in Boone and Asheville, you know we're we're blessed you know we're, we're doing pretty good um, but I want to go over a few a few different things with you how to be like ready to be a help in this particular case and so one of the one of the things that I noticed that this this almost happens every year because in North Carolina we're near the water so hurricanes come you know tornadoes come and I, every single year around this time this happens number one is that our Airbnb business goes crazy if the storm is bad, then people go to check into Airbnbs. If the storm is not bad here, but it's bad, you know, 30, 40 minutes down the street, then our Airbnbs get booked. Either way, the Airbnbs end up getting booked. So whether the storm is bad locally, people will reach out to me on Airbnb and VRBO and say, hey, does your, does your place still have power? We have generators at all of our places. So yes, we do have power, right? And we end up getting in these you know, unexpected bookings. The second thing that happens, and I forgot about this at first, the booking started coming in over the weekend, okay? But then on Monday, I got an email from one of the insurance companies. The insurance companies um, uh, that I'm speaking about in particular is ALE Solutions. So they're not really an insurance company, but they're like a third party, um, like housing company for the insurance companies. So if you have insurance, something happens to your house they have to help you get housing right because they don't want you to be homeless so what they do is they hire ale solutions to go find you a house and the insurance pays for you to live there so monday i wake up to emails i have a client that needs a house you know for at least three months i have a client that needs a house for at least six months i have a client that needs a house for at least 12 months and i could once again i don't i don't know i need to start expecting this and start being ready to make sure i have inventory and stuff like that but i honestly wasn't expecting it but it was just like oh wow i do have a house that i'm working on it'll be ready next week great no problem let's go ahead and book it you know let's go ahead and get the uh the client over there to look at it look at it we'll cut you a check for six months one check good to go you know, do you have somebody that can take care of the yard? Great, we'll add that on to it. I just realized the power of real estate, number one, the power of actually having knowledge behind real estate. So the insurance part of it, whether you're using your own insurance to help you stay covered or you're or, you know, the insurance policy. So you're getting in there to help the insurance companies. And then lastly, have, being set up, OK, being set up. And once again, I don't, you know, I don't know if there's any weight to this for you guys, but to me, I don't think this is random. I think some people don't have insurance, so they're not covered. I think, I think some people don't know that they shouldn't buy a house in a flood zone. They buy a house in a flood zone. It gets flooded. You know, I think, I think some people aren't thinking, oh, wow, my power is out. I just got to sit here and I got to wait versus well, hey, let me just move, you know, let me just go one city over. They got power. I'm going to stay there. You know, I, so I think I'm really making this video 
so you guys can know that it is manly to be prepared. It is manly to be able to go out in this marketplace, find these deals and these opportunities, make it an Airbnb so you can provide housing for another person. I think it's financially responsible to know that you need to have insurance and not insurance that's just bottom dry, insurance that has a, you know, a solid deductible. So, you know, you don't wanna have insurance with a $4,000 deductible, you know? You wanna have solid insurance with a low deductible with uh, that, that you're able to maximize costs on that actually kicks in when you need it, you know? And so I think all of that matters. So this video is number one to let you know, hey, all the chickens survived. <laughs> you know, we do have a couple trees down, but my tree guys have already been out here and gotten a couple up, you know, and put some to the side. We haven't really removed anything because they're busy right now. Um, but. You know, you guys gotta be prepared when it comes to, you know, living your life, but also this real estate thing. It can be a huge benefit, not just to you, but to others if you learn how to master this. So, you know, I wanna, I wanna encourage you guys to go ahead and subscribe and to like the video because the things that you learn on this channel are life changing. You know, they they mean something. You know, uh, you know, the things that we teach here are like valuable, it will help you become a better person, not just to you, but to your church, to your city, to your county, to your state. And that comes with benefits. So look, we'll see you guys on the next one. Peace y'all.